how to generate unit tests using RK Tracer tool and generate the test coverage report. Go to the tools, turn on the RK Tracer tool or enable it. Once it's enabled, you need to go ahead and rebuild the application. Once the files are instrumented, now let's go ahead and generate the unit test. Go to the tools, RK Tracer RK unit. This will open a RK Tracer uh, user interface to generate the unit test cases. Project view, file view. This is the addition function and in case if you want to have a quick access to the source code of this addition just click over here so it will take directly take you to this go back here you have three options the input parameters input parameters here and the return type so this is a post checks that you see on the screen let's go ahead and remove this and here Let's type two, three, and I'm expecting result of five. So the moment I save this, you're going to see additional two options to see the generated uh, unit test. Now, if you scroll up, you can see that this is the information. come out if you want to manually edit or add the code here instead of three if i want to add five then let's say uh, expected result as eight i can do it save it come out of this then if you want to do the parameterization you can do it and if you want to access any global variable you can go ahead and check it generate disable collapse so let's add one more and you can add your own requirement data here let me go ahead and remove this So this is the input, input, expected output. Then let me add one more. So I'll not do anything here. You can also, if it's a, you can also set the return value. It's a true or false based on the return type. So let's set it to false. Now if I save this and uh, you can just expand it. And if you want to see that this one, just click here. And here you can see that add two strings. Only for this we added the requirement, not for this. And this is the test case. Since this has been saved, minimize, go back and rebuild the application. Now you can see it is also adding the unit test case file that was generated to your project. So you can find that in this path in the project directory. Now let's go ahead and run the unit test. Okay, one of the test cases failed. So we were expecting this, but the actual result was unit testing basically without the space. So let's go ahead and close this and let's generate the test uh, coverage report go to the tools rk tracer unit report now you can see the overall code coverage here and if any of the code is partially executed you'll be able to see that in the yellow color green covered red is not covered
now this overall code coverage let me expand it now let's say like i'll go to this function now this has executed successfully this has failed and this has successful click over here you'll get the summary actual expected was 8 actual was 8 succeeded test case passed so if i go here expected was unit testing with space but it gave us like without no space so the test case has failed if you want to have a good quick access to the code coverage just click here since we it will show only the code coverage for this function not for the other functions and if you want to have a quick access uh, to the uh, unit test that was generated you can go ahead and check it here go back go back to the requirement and you can see that same goes here 